from C Max Dragway. Mike Neff, Matt Hagen. They are the finals and funny car for the O'Reilly Auto Parts National. Look over the top end, Jason Line still heartbroken over that one. Well, I know the feeling. Yeah, it's tough. But it speaks to the pressure that the playoffs are putting on. Though I mean, if you see two red lights and two finals, my goodness, that shows you how hard everybody's trying. Yeah, well, I mean, you always want to get that win, but as you said, with the playoffs uh, pressure, just adds a little bit to it. To, but right now, you talk about pressure. You've got Matt Hagen right here. He comes in here. He's racing the, the points leader in the other lane. He just set the national record. You know, number one qualifier. He's been in two finals this year, but he's basically got beat on a whole shot and red lighted in both of those finals. We're talking about Matt Hagen. So, Mike Neff right now, you know. I don't know. I mean, Matt Hagen's definitely had the car, but he looked at wins by lane, nine wins in the right lane, five in the in the left. Matt Hagen has a lane choice. And Mike, uh, for Matt Hagen right now, this is a matter of respect, earning Mike Neff, Zippy's respect. He told me the way that Neff has run this season, that he wants to emulate that here in the final six races, and this is about earning his respect. And he and does there it. it is. Matt Hagen, a four. 301 miles an hour gets his first win of the year. What a weekend this has been for Hagen. We keep talking about momentum and peaking. Talk about feeling better about things. They got to have. Well, how could you not feel great about this weekend to go out there and win the race at the national record? Mike Neff, he's probably going to be happy with what he had because he knows he struggled big time in qualifying. And when you do that, you're just happy to come away with a final round uh, showing. But for that man right there, this was a fantastic weekend. His fourth Woo! win of his Woo! career. Yeah, baby, yeah. Woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right. In funny car points, Matt Hagen moved up four positions while Robert Height dropped down too, Mike. Yeah, and you can see Ron Caps at number six position. I'm putting that do or done line there. Remember, John, that doesn't mean you're out of it. That just means you better do something quick because you got a lot of good cars in front of you. How tough, How tough was it to wait to get the first win? on the very first leg of the countdown of the championship. Oh, you know what? Mike Neff, that's Superman over there, you know? And we're just trying to trying to get, get some of these points on this guy over here. And uh, Tommy DeLago, you know, I, I say that name a lot, but he's the man that makes it happen. You know, and my guys, you know, there's been a couple times this year that we should have already had a couple of these. And I'm just glad that we finally got one before the year's up. Is there a great sense of relief then? Absolutely. You know, it's pressure, like, like I say, is always pressure. But Charles Barkley said pressure is what you put in tires. So we're, uh, we're just having fun with it. And we're just, uh, I just can't believe it. I, w I, wish, I wish my wife was up here. I don't know where she's We at. just heard from her. Sorry. She's very emotional. Yeah, I can't wait to see her, you know. So, God, it's going to make me cry. I'm a big old country boy. I'm about ready to cry. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just really cool to do this for my guys and for, for Tommy Lago, for Die Hard, for Valvoline, for, for everybody that supports us, U.S. Army. It's just, it's incredible. I mean, and to go out here and set a national record, back it up, and then win the race, it doesn't get any better than that, man. It doesn't get any better.